heard some silly, silly stuff about USA basketball, and it was requested that I respond um, to this crazy take. So this is Kendrick Perkins. You know, he has a huge platform over there on ESPN. And this is what he was talking about with Team USA. He was saying, you know, um, Kevin Durant is the guy who's going to really carry USA to go. Crazy statement, I know, but KD had himself a great game. Um, the other night, they played against Serbia. Um, KD found himself having 23 points, shot eight for nine from the field goal percentage, five for five for the three-point line. Had a crazy, crazy game. So, you know, I understand where this energy is coming from, but at the same time, Kendrick Perkins lost his mind. So it's time to hold Kendrick Perkins accountable. Here's what he had to say. Let's do it. They're going to get enough stops, okay, on the defensive side of things because they're the most talented ball club. But when you add a Kevin Durant in there, did you see the light that he gave the bench and his, his guys? I mean, everybody was standing up. Anthony Edwards was feeding off of that. Hell, LeBron James and Steph Curry fed off of Kevin Durant. When you know what he's capable of doing, if the game is close, the ball is going to be in Kevin Durant's hands down the stretch to take them home. We saw it the last time Team USA won the gold medal, and we're going to see it this time when Team USA win the gold medal. It's going to be on the back of Kevin Durant. Now, that is just absolutely crazy right there. Um, so that was Kendrick Perkins. As you heard, live and direct right there. That man thinks... USA's gold medal is going to be on the weight of Kevin Durant's shoulders. It's going to be on Kevin Durant's shoulders. And I just want to say, bro, I, I get KD had a great game here, but bro, Kenny, K Kendrick Perkins, bro, look, you got to hear me and hear me clearly when I say this, bro. There has never been a time where any team has won a championship, a medal, or anything, and it's been on the weight of Kevin Durant's shoulders. That's just, that just hasn't happened. Anytime he's played an NBA, He's never been the one to carry everybody on his shoulders. When he won his rings in Golden State, let's be real, they could have still won championships without Kevin Durant had they not traded all their pieces to get him on the team. But even when he was there, he didn't carry anybody on his shoulders. After Steph Curry and the Golden State's Warriors, he has not carried anybody. He's played with multiple superstars ever since he left Steph Curry. And he still has not carried anybody past the conference finals or even to the conference finals. The last time I remember Kevin Durant carrying anybody on his shoulders to wheel them all the way to the finals or a championship game was back in 2012 with OKC. Other than that, that was the last time. And I think it's just borderline disrespectful that you can look at the roster, you can look at the games, if you're even watching the games, because clearly it seems like you're not watching the game. You must have just seen the stats and heard about what he did in one game, and you ain't paid attention to anything else that's been happening with USA basketball in the Olympics, because anybody who's watching the Olympics basketball can clearly see that LeBron is the one who is controlling every aspect of Team USA in terms of play and the one who's really doing the heavy lifting and who is the glue on this team for Team USA basketball. Yeah, clearly they got a lot of talent. Anthony Edwards, Steph Curry, Derek White. <laughs> they got a lot of people out there, clearly. But as we all know, Bron is the one who's putting up just about a triple-double every single time he steps on the floor. You look at the last game that he had um, against Serbia there. He had 21 points. Nine assists, seven rebounds. And this is on the nightly basis where he's doing this. So I understand, you know, you're a little hype that Kevin Durant is doing this thing. And he finally had a, a big performance where, you know, people remember who the hell he is. Because this is no disrespect to KD. We all know the kind of athlete he is. We know the skill he possesses when he's on the court. But at the end of the day, bro, it's a silly, silly statement to sit here and say, Kevin Durant is going to be the one doing the heavy lifting and carrying this team to the goal. Nah, LeBron has been the one that's been carrying all along since group play has started. He's been the one carrying every team that he's ever played on in the NBA. Play with the Miami Heat, carried them to the finals, especially when D-Wade was broken and beat down. Went to Cleveland, carried them to the finals. Went to LA, carried them to the finals carried every single team he's still carrying anthony davis who's supposed to be leading the teams he's well beyond his days of carrying anybody on basketball teams that he's been playing with but clearly everybody is still expecting brian to carry and that's what he's been able to do after 20 some years of basketball this man is still carrying teams night after night after night and just like this olympic team he's carrying them they're a great team but he's carrying them bro I don't know what you watching, Kendrick Perkins. 
But it definitely ain't Kevin Durant carrying this team to the gold medal.